Hi, welcome to another video. So, Minimax has been making waves in the scene these days. Their new Minimax M2 is pretty good. It's awesome at agentic tasks, and it's a great option to use. They also launched their API pricing, which is very, very cheap. And the coding plan is also really affordable. It's just $10, $20, or $50, giving you tons of limits you can use, which is pretty awesome. However, now we have their own open source agent tool that allows you to have an agent almost like Manus, something like a deep researching tool, and more. This is called Mini Agent. They say that it is a minimal yet professional demo project that showcases the best practices for building agents with the Minimax M2 model. Leveraging an Anthropic-compatible API, it fully supports interleaved thinking to unlock M2's powerful reasoning capabilities for long and complex tasks. They also say that it has a full agent execution loop, which is a complete and reliable foundation with a basic toolset for file system and shell operations. It also has persistent memory, which means it maintains an active session note tool that ensures the agent retains key information across multiple sessions. It also automatically summarizes conversation history to handle context up to a configurable token limit, enabling infinitely long tasks. It also comes with 15 professional skills for documents, design, testing, and development. It also supports logging, MCP, and simple design as well, which is quite great. So, it can not only write code or do similar things, but it can also act as an agent that can almost do anything. It's quite similar to something like Manus. In this example, the agent is asked to create a simple, beautiful web page and display it in the browser, showcasing the basic tool use loop. It also supports Claude skills. Like in this example, it leverages a Claude skill to create a professional document, like a PDF or DOCX, based on the user's request, demonstrating its advanced capabilities. It can go up to 100 tool calls for one task and just work. I've seen Minimax be able to run for a very long time, which allows it to perform better in my benchmarks because most of them require it to go super long, since the tasks are very high level. It also works with their coding plan, and any Anthropic-compatible API as well. You can configure it quite easily. Anyway, now, let's get into it and check it out. To start, you'll first have to run this command, and then run the script that makes the config files for you. Then, you'll need to edit the config file. In the config file, you'll need to put in the base, URL, model name, max steps, and workspace directory. Max steps is set by default to 100, but you can increase it to 1000 or even more, and it can really keep going. You can also use this with Sonnet or any Anthropic compatible API as well. Now, let's run it. You can go to the terminal and just run the mini agent command, and you should be good to go. It boots up in just a second, and you'll be able to see this interface. This is pretty simple, but still quite useful. To start, you can hit slash help to see what the shortcuts are. You can use slash clear to clear session history, but keep the system prompt. The slash history shows the current session message count, slash stats, shows session statistics, and slash exit allows you to exit the program. There are also some keyboard shortcuts that you can use, like Control u to clear the current input line, Control l to clear the screen, Control j to insert a new line, and Tab to autocomplete commands. Now, let's try to use it as well. It is a general agent and is not supposed to be focused just on coding. So, let's try this out. I'm going to ask it to make me a simple Minesweeper game and open it in the browser. Now, 
I'm not testing its capabilities, but rather showing how it works. So here, you'll see that it goes ahead and starts to work on it. It's pretty fast, and it works so well. You can see as it calls tools, and you'll see that happen quite quickly. It's snappy and quite a good agent. If you want it to be able to search or use a browser, then you can add MCP servers to it, and it will be able to do that as well. You can also change the system prompt quite easily to make it work exactly for your needs. It works really well, especially with Minimax's models, and it can go on for quite long sessions. I'm thinking of changing this to build out a Minimax-based deep research agent. It's already very close to that, but adding multiple MCP servers that I use could be really cool. I don't fully get the Claude skills yet, but you can implement them here as well and try them out if you want. I guess you could use that to customize it even more. It already comes built in with 15 skills, all for different things. So, you can probably use those. I think it automatically injects all the skills into the system prompt. So it's basically like a system prompt setup, I guess. Anyway, it works quite well nonetheless. This is an agent scaffolding for you to take further and build something on top of it. But even without that, you can actually use it for quite useful work. It works pretty well with their own model, and it's quite fast and super cheap. That's mainly about it. I saw it and thought to talk about it as well. I will be using it for sure. I like different CLI tools to give different personas or tasks to each one of them. And I think this one can be great for deep research. Something like Manus. It's very much built like how their online agent works. I've always liked it because it can go for super long tasks, and it seems to trickle down here as well. It's quite good at long-running tasks for sure. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.